What's up guys, Lifting here. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you some gameplay of a recent build I've been playing, uh, or still aim. It's the Forest Trump Ultra Lazy build. Uh, what you need to do here is you need to run around, kill stuff, and you do that by just running around. For every step you take, you deal some damage, and uh, then you set your cascade of heralds sending flying, and that kills the monsters. And uh, when there's a boss, you uh, you show ball righteous fire and you one shot it if you ignite if you uh, if you don't ignite well then it's kind of annoying <laughs> it's not very good against that but it's actually it's pretty good so far I've been able to take the build into tr 13 and it's doing uh, all right you will get fucked against those uh, bosses that have multi phases because your ball righteous fire uh, well needs to charge up. So if you kill something and then it has a phase and then you need to do it again, then yeah, it's a little annoying, but you don't have to use Ball Righteous Fire either. It's just super fun. And if you then end up, you know, using the maps that you know works for you, uh, then it's pretty cool. And it's actually a pretty good like currency farmer, similar to style in the style of Vol Spark, where it's just super effect if efficient and effective uh, in the right types of maps. Uh, Time-wise, at least. It kills fast. Good clear speed. Can I say it in more ways now? That said, it's also super expensive for what it does, because you can have builds that are better for the same price. And the reason it's expensive is because I use these boots. Aberrath's hooves. And I think they go for around 5 exalts right now in Breach Softcore. And these are the ones that makes it all work, because every time you take that step, uh, you uh, use that Aberrath's fury attack skill and uh, it deals damage it deals fire damage it works as a spell and then i've linked it to uh, increased critical strikes added lightning damage control destruction and added cold damage and the thing is every time you uh, then crit or attack with the added cold and the added lightning you can apply that status ailment and that makes your herald of ice and your herald of thunder proc proc their effects and that's when, you know, everything starts to explode around you. Uh, I'm also using a chevron, so that's pretty expensive too. That's for the, um, for the uh, Vol Righteous Fire setup. And with that, I'm using Fire Pen, Critical Strikes, Concentrated Effect, and Life Leech. And um, the thing that's super dangerous about Vol Righteous Fire is that when you use that, you go down to... It removes all your energy shield and gets you down to 1 HP. So... You will die there. If anything hits you right after that, you will die. But if you have it uh, linked with Leech and you have Vault Pact, then you will Leech, in most cases, all that life back instantly and you won't even feel it. But there's so many situations where I have, you know, gotten out of range and I clicked and then you're just down to one HP and you're just, fuck, <laughs> you need to survive. And, you know, you get hit by a little shit bird or something like that and you die. So if you play in hardcore, you can do it if you play really well and don't, you know, take those risks. But I wouldn't suggest it. This is more like a softcore fun type of build. But as you can see, the Chevrons is pretty expensive too. Uh, I'm also using Doriani's Catalyst for a very nice elemental damage boost. I am considering trying to use a Void Battery. Uh, I might try uh, that out and see if that's better because I am an assassin. Uh, and I'll explain that in just a bit. Uh, but uh, Doriani's Catalyst just for a lot of damage increase. Uh, then just a rare helmet, uh, rare shield. You need to get a lot of energy shield on these. But as for the helmet, actually, I'm using the, uh, is it Horror? I think it's Essence of Horror. It gives Sucketed Gem Steel 30% more elemental damage. And uh, that's pretty good for Herald of Thunder, right? These are the main damage dealing things for you, the Herald. So buff that as much as you can, but it costs around 15 chaos and then you need to get... Uh, lucky with your rolls if you craft your helmet yourself. You don't need it though, so you can just use a rare Cuber circuit if you want to. And for the shield, I think it's worth mentioning that uh, I use a 2 plus level of circuited cold gems because that gives a lot of damage to the Herald of Ice. Again, not needed, but very nice. Uh, Choir of the Storm, uh, similar to the Vol Spark I put out, more uh, it gives you more crit uh, the more uh, lightning resist you have so it's very very nice and also makes it so you deal more damage with those crits oh and then uh, call of the brotherhood so that your lightning damage 
also gets converted to cold. This helps with the chain of the heralds. For flasks, I'm using Vessel of Vingtar, Kiara's Determination, and then, you know, just whatever Quicksilver flask, but get Adrenaline on it so you run faster, uh, Diamond Flask, and then Basalt Flask. And I really do recommend you get a Vessel of Vingtar. It's really sick with the leech, and you will otherwise maybe have some troubles uh, surviving if you don't get it. Some people use Shield Charge. I don't like that too much. I tried it out. What I like is to use Face Run linked with uh, Increased Duration, and then I have my Vault Discipline here too because that you know works. So Face Run, uh, when you use that, you go into this and you just run faster. You run through the monsters, and this is nice for your hooves to trigger the damage and then the Heralds. And it makes you a bit safer. You can get out of some, some nice situations. And then uh, in the skill tree, I'm also using the Green Dream uh, Jewel. This is kind of expensive too. I think I paid 90 uh, for this, 90 KS. Uh, it gives more damage, but it also makes it so that you can gain uh, Frenzy Charges on based on an equal chance to your all resistances and cold resistances. And we get 8 and 8 here. So 16% chance to generate a Frenzy Charge. Uh, for, so that gives us more damage. But when you use Face Run and you have Frenzy Charges, you can see 100% increased scale duration per Frenzy Charge um, for facing. So it increases the duration by a significant amount by consuming those Frenzy Charges and you get them up straight away anyway. So you can keep doing that all the time. It gives a nice movement boost and uh, it works great uh, with this setup here. I'm playing as the Assassin to get enough crit. This is really nice for our Heralds, which otherwise is really hard to scale crit-wise. You need to go for Unstable Infusion, then Deadly Infusion, and then all the way over to Assassinate. The last one here is not too important, but at least get your way into Deadly Infusion and then finally Ambush. And for the remainder of the skill tree, there's not really that much to say. It's a crit, uh, low-life-based skill tree. You get Pain Attunement here. Remember that spell damage doesn't do anything for your Heralds. This is only for the Vault Righteous Fire that we uh, pick this. We get the Leech via Ghost Reaver and then Vault Packs. I pick up Charisma because that's necessary for me to run Discipline, Herald of Thunder, Herald of Ice, and Blasphemy, uh, Elemental Weakness. And the reason it is necessary for me to pick these up is because you link your Herald of Thunder to, to damage supports and supports in general, right? Uh, and that increases the cost of them. The same for Herald of Ice here. It's linked with increased critical strikes and added lightning damage. So just uh, keep that in mind. And then just try to get a lot of jewels with uh, lightning damage or uh, crit multi, I mean, and lightning resists. Because again, the lightning resists help with the, the crit chains via Quiet of the Storm. It works really well. Just keep in mind, it's a really, really fun build. It's the ultimate lazy build. You just run around, you kill stuff, and then you one-shot bosses if they ignite, right? If you don't have power charges up when you go in with the Vol Righteous Fire, your crit change is not high and you may not ignite them. So keep that in mind. Um, but it is, it is a fun build, but it doesn't necessarily do things better than any other build with that amount of currency invested. You can try doing this build without the chevrons. Try doing, doing it uh, as CI. That's possible too. You'll have to remove probably the Blasphemy setup um, and then play around with a bit of the Aura Notes in the uh, skill tree to make it work but if you can afford it try it out i've had a lot of fun with this it's one of the funniest spells i've tried uh, if you like that type of uh, play style and it's fast it's really good if you just want to do dried lake farming efficiently for currency and higher level maps too so before you guys say why the fuck would you do that only for dried lake you can do it in higher maps too it's just you know dried lake very efficient for currency farming and i think that's it i'll leave a link to my profile below so you can check my character's gear and uh, well compare it to your own if you want to run the build thank you for watching and bros do you even nerd